Those sound like crew names. Those actually sound like crew names. Okay. Someone's messing Well, maybe with it those. is, man. Maybe it is. Maybe it literally it says is. I'm bracket not sure. F1, though. But it could be, it could be bracket F1 of uh, the crew battle bracket or something. I don't know. I have maybe. no idea. Okay. I don't know if there's a crew battle bracket. I just made that up. All right. Already getting a wow, early splat bomb. In the, oh, big damage already. Yeah, Meki versus Cosmos. This is going to be a very exciting set to watch. Right. Yeah, this has been a matchup, you know, I think a lot of people say, you know, is in Peach's favor, but at the same time, even though Cosmos has not really had any success in beating Sansora, he usually does seem to beat the other Peaches. Like, he's, uh, you know, up a set against Umeki, does well, usually, versus Mutace. Um, so, you know, this is kind of the, the onus is on Umeki to kind of kind of show us what he's got here. Okay, getting a hit on Cosmos. Now, looking for the back here's out of shield. Giving, giving Cosmos a little Ooh. bit of power power. Wow, but that forward air, super, super strong. Obviously incurring a little bit of nerf, but it still, you know, still has that KO power if you need it, especially by the ledge. And so this is like a percent range. Oh, and he's going to get some combo damage here. I think he might have wanted to go into an up air sooner. Up throw up air, that's going to do it. Yeah, you got to realize sometimes, like, uh, Umeki, I think Umeki could have made me realize that he was at that up throw up air range. Uh huh. And when you're at that percent range, I think like you just really want to be like, all right, I just don't want to get grabbed. Anything, anything besides getting grabbed right now, right? And I think it's just more about more than just not getting grabbed though. I mean, you also got to think about how the other uh, kill confirms that Inklings had. You know, you got Roller. Right. Might be trying to space out with back air. For sure. But that's the thing is like it's if you're at the up throw up air range, <laughs> most Inklings are gonna be looking for up throw up air. So you yeah. just want to like you know take one or two more back airs so they can't they can't do it anymore. And then it's like, all right, cool. Now I just really have to worry about the roller, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mekki right now, super, super solid. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get some damage here. Going for that near forward, doesn't quite connect. Yeah, using the second jump to escape. Now floating at the ledge. Yeah. Slowly getting the creeping on to center stage. Ooh, wow, what a forward there. What a forward there from, uh, from Mekki right there. Yeah, this would be huge. If uh, Mekki can take game one, I think this would be a lot of confidence. I know he's not. Uh, coming into the set, maybe like with a little bit of fear, but you know this is this is all really solid right now. Woo. Okay, lands a turn up. Yeah, I mean oh. turn up turn up conversion is how uh, how Cosmos lost his first stock. Wow, oh. nice. And Put can he get wall. it? Yup, yup, yup. What is that big wall oh, again? I have to recover high. One more time. That's gonna <laughs> do it. Yeah, I mean you might want to go to the platform or something at that point, but. Maybe Umeki positioned to where he, I don't know if he could have double jumped up and kind of covered it with like a forward air. I mean, was it wasn't floating. Just, just I don't know. I feel like there was like a slim margin that right, uh, right, Cosmos right. could have opted for. Oh but even my then, goodness! Nothing guaranteed. Right. Yeah, Umeki, man, his combo game definitely really absurd. Oh, for sure. I mean, last, last time I actually saw Umeki play, it was like an Umabora and then a Genesis. Those were the only two times I've seen for an ultimate. <gasps> wow! wow chase what a up. catch! Yeah, not gonna KO. This is a completely different beast from what I saw earlier. Right. Okay, falling with Nairs. Let's get the sour oh. spot. Now a back air connects. Forder, I think he got the weak hit there. That might have KO'd if he got the strong hit. Okay, putting a little bit of extra damage on the Cosmos on the way Ooh. back to stage. Oh, oh, good oh. use of second jump. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That up air, again though, quite not quite KOing. And that side beyond shield, really like unpredictably safe. And there's the back air that's gonna close out game one with solid two stocks. Yeah, so flower power for Cosmos. Mm -hmm. It's kind of ironic, you know. Cosmos is like really, really known for his uh, love for anime. His love for anime, where are you going with this? Um, just that Umeki, and he's losing like he, to like a waifu character. Yeah, that's Daisy. where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it hurts deep down inside. Dang, uh. my waifus. <laughs> I don't think they're, uh, they're betraying me. If, if uh, Daisy is a waifu, she may not be on the list long. Yeah, she might get taken off. Oh, dang. He's trying to hit him with the rising hope right now, Lisa. Ooh. Ooh. And he's got the costume swap as well. Okay. Wiki is, is Wiki wearing a tag that says wife? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's literally wearing a tag that <laughs> says wife. Maybe this is the battle of the waifus then. Well, yeah. that doesn't make sense. You don't watch any anime, right? Uh, I actually watch a lot of anime. You watch a lot of anime. <laughs> you know, you know Lisa. Huge weeb. Yes, I love uh, 
Peace, Yeah, I actually Her tried songs. to watch. I watched three episodes of uh, Mahoka this week, the regular Magic High School. I haven't watched that one. Okay, don't watch it. Okay, perfect. I won't. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, that show is. That show is. Whatever. It's fine. I don't want to make anyone upset. The OP is a straight banger. It's on Spotify. You can actually just listen to Rising Hope on Spotify. Yeah. I would just listen to listen to the song. Lisa makes some bangers. That's, Lisa that's, makes that's some bangers, for true. Man. All right. Well, I'll throw up air. I'll throw not up quite. air. Not quite. I think he actually could have gone it. Oh, that's gonna do it. Our good, not enough mash coming from Umeki. Yeah, I don't know if anyone could mash out at that percent. You just gotta really lay into your control stick. Yeah, you really gotta let it happen. <laughs> I like the splat gun usage actually. That's kind of the thing that kind of is cool about it is um, uh, if they're floating at you, right? If Daisy's floating at you, you could actually angle it up and kind of just shoot her out of the air and kind of just make her back off. Right, right, right. So, and then of course, you know, you're inking her, which is going to increase the amount of damage you do. You got to make sure, which Cosmos is very good about his ink management. He knows when yeah. he, he needs to have enough meter to pull out a splat bomb in case oh. he does need to set up a trap. Right. Just like that. At this point, though, uh, he's not going to have ink for, for, so, okay. It gets KO'd. I mean, that's one way to get a full ink meter. Right. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just say that was ink management. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna write it off. Just like write off these taxes. Yeah. <laughs> They're scrapping right now. They're just kind of throwing hitboxes around each other's fields. Okay. Oh, with this last hit of down air doesn't connect. It's unfortunate for Umeki. And you know he wanted that down air into back air. Right. The easiest of damages. Yup. But man, this is like dead even right now. Cosmos actually on the back foot. Okay, wow. Zare and Tenere. I can see why Cosmos would opt for, for Battlefield. It's going to be a little bit harder for Meki to really set up the wall of Nair that he was uh, pulling out in Pokemon Stadium. Ah, uh, yeah. He can always just ride the stage. Right, 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 right. Definitely better than you can on Stadium. The cool thing about it is, like, if you have, like, if you get hit up at that angle. Yeah. Then, yeah, you can use your roller, and then, you know, you, you can, like, save your double jump. You don't even have to recover low. Like, you can recover high and kind of invalidate that option in the first place. Then you don't even have to ride the wall, right? Oh. That's true. Oh, he was looking for that. was an interesting roller attempt. Like, it seemed like it could have worked, but uh, Meki was able to kind of get out of that situation. Ooh. Looking for an empty hop. Trying to land behind Cosmos. And Cosmos is ready. Fair connects yeah. onto Cosmos and Umeki. And Umeki. With the wife power. With the wife power, man. He put a stitch face too, didn't get too much mileage off it. Kind of just chucked it in the, in the direction of the middle of the stage. Ooh. Oh, the jump. Okay. I always get, okay. And, and that was not how to shield from Cosmos. That was uh, definitely what he needed. Yeah, evening up the game. Right? But Umeki, after losing that stock, took a deep breath, reset himself. Let's see if uh, Umeki's able to really get that engine started again. Right. All right. Yeah, Cosmos trying to kind of bait out maybe a spot dodge or something there with that late landing there. Umeki, ooh, squeezing over the splat bomb with the with the, the float down air. <laughs> Only after taking a, a few a few forward airs to the face. Yeah. Okay, another forward forward throw, and it's gonna put a little bit of ink ooh. onto Umeki. Cosmos in a control right now. Definitely in control, and this is gonna be. Uh, oh yeah, you can't even if they look at ground height. Uh, you know, roller will not really work if they're. Uh, floating. Of course, having access to that instant flow is going to make sure that oh. Mickey has... Oh, he was looking for the off smash. Okay, there's a back throw. Cosmos reaching. And the left trap. Oh, wow, good what air dodge. Okay, where's the snipes at? Where's the snipes? that like that. Oh, wow. Going for the left trump. And here, every one of these, like... No, oh, oh. that's going to do it. Cosmos getting sent to losers 2-0. Umeki moving on to the winner's bracket. And Cosmos already in losers outside of top 128. That is what? Insane. An upset to what have. What an upset, yeah. Man, just even like seeing the splat bomb come out, Umeki immediately going for the second jump. Yeah. Bring, yeah. Getting a little bit more distance and then reaching with some, some flower power. Yeah. Very, uh, well, I mean, you got to know there's like, there's like certain things, uh, Certain things about that matchup that kind of dissuade Inkling from doing some of their common options, like Roller, uh -huh. right? You saw yeah. like a lot of other characters that would have gotten Roller, but you know, Mechie able to just kind of float over it, uh -huh. right? Um, so you're not going to have that kill confirm uh, as easy to sort of connect. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I actually think one of the, the biggest plays that that set was uh, when when Cosmos had the ledge trap, 
right. opportunity, but Umeki right. actually like dropped to the ledge and air dodge past him. Uh, and got kind of the, the turnaround, the reversal there. That was like real. I, I didn't really see that option used too much. Okay. Honestly, so that was Eric, clutch. Yes, that that option caught, I'm sure, not only us, but Cosmos by surprise as well. Yeah. Completely not expecting it. But Omeki, wow, I'm looking forward to seeing more of him tomorrow in Top 128. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely in contention for like, you know, I feel like right after Samsora, it's kind of him and Mutace, right, that are kind of yeah. heading up the, the Peach metagame. Um,